Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alan here. Welcome to another video. So uh, just before we get into it, I just want to say uh, I created a new intro as you guys may or may not have noticed. And that was because I got some feedback saying the last one was slightly too long and a bit boring. So I took that uh, and decided to go and get a new intro for you guys. So hopefully uh, you like this one. And let me know if there's anything else about my channel you don't like, because if you leave it in a constructive manner, I will do my best to get around to it. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know. Right, so Battlefield Hardline, it launches tomorrow, as you guys are probably aware. And uh, I figured I'd do a little video talking about it and uh, my opinions on what I'm looking forward to, uh, pros and cons, and maybe address some of the concerns some people have with the game. So. I'm I'm excited about the game because it it's bringing something new, you know, the cops and robbers team. It's different. I mean, we won't know if it's better or worse than the military style team uh, until we actually play the game and see how it fits in. But it definitely seems to be it's something it's trying something new, so it's not going to be stale. So you can say that that's exciting. Also, and uh, it's, it's promises to bring a great campaign. You know, uh, Battlefield Three and Battlefield Four have been heavily criticised by the uh, by the Battlefield community because the campaign has been, well, pretty bad, let's face it. A lot of people only force themselves through it just to get the unlocks that you get by playing the campaign. So, And I know a lot of people who refuse to play it at all, so hopefully this will change that and a lot more people will get invested in the campaign. really like the whole episodic style they're going for. It's sort of like an interactive TV show. I think that's what they're trying to go for and it's pretty cool. Right, so that's pretty much all I want to say about what I'm excited about. But a lot of people have uh, concerns about the game. You know, they say stuff like, oh, it's it's not a full game. Well, I don't see a reasoning there because, you know, it comes with a full campaign. It comes with, like, a, what is it, nine maps in the base game? I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me. But, you know, like, it's, it's definitely a full game. But people are just saying, oh, well, it's a DLC. And they say that because it looks a lot like Battlefield 4. But it's running on the same engine, so, you know, you got to expect that. And um, so really, like, that's an invalid argument in my opinion. Another p thing I hear a lot is uh, people saying that, oh, well, the cops and robbers team is stupid. Like, it's not authentic at all. You'd never see cops running around with, like, M16s and, you know, robbers running around with, like, rocket launchers and stuff. Like, where would they get all this stuff? And you're like, okay, that's a fair point. But Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, all the Battlefield games, in fact, aren't really authentic games. They're, they're arcade shooters, essentially. Uh, which is not a knock on the games. I absolutely love them. In fact, they're pretty much the only multiplayer games I play now. Uh, so I'm not knocking them in any way, calling them an arcade shooter. But if you want to like go for realism and authenticity, you'd want to play like a simulator, something like Arma maybe, or well, that's the only one I kind of know that's realistic. You know, um, so like that whole argument doesn't really make sense to me. You know, when people come up and they're like, oh, yeah. Battlefield 4, uh, Battlefield Hardline, it's not authentic enough, the cops and robber theme doesn't fit. I mean, obviously some things don't fit, but it's about, it's just fun. It's supposed to be fun. You're not supposed to look at it in minute detail and be like, nope, nope, I'm not buying the game because this doesn't fit. Like, really? Do people actually think that, you know? Now, I get if people came up with the argument that they're not going to buy the game because of the whole Battlefield 4 fiasco. You know, the way the game was was released uh, over a year and a half ago now and it's only been playable and acceptable in the past six seven months that's not the argument i'm hearing all the time and i get it if, you, if it's not your kind of thing if you don't think hardline looks great that's fine but don't say stuff like oh it's not authentic enough or the theme just looks stupid if you haven't even properly played it yet you know it's like you just get a lot of people hating on it and then other people are jumping on the bandwagon saying yeah hardline it's, it's not a proper battlefield game that's the thing it's it's not saying it's battlefield 5 or something it's a sidestep just like battlefield bad company 2 was battlefield bad company was and everyone loves that series it's pretty much the same thing you know it's something to bring you along until battlefield 5 comes out which will be a military shooter like every other battlefield we're used to so i really don't see the problem with this people say it's a cash grab and maybe it is but if it's it's what's a, what's a game's purpose? The game's purpose is to entertain and to be fun. And I've played the beta, both betas in fact, of Battlefield Hardline, and I can say that they are both entertaining and fun. The game feels a lot like Battlefield 3 in terms of uh, smoothness and uh, just uh, fast pacedness. That's not even a word, but we'll go with it. Now, if it comes out tomorrow and it's rubbish, 
And by all means, hate on it all you want, but until you play it, you can't really say that it's a bad game. And I think it looks fun. I'm going to be excited to play it anyway. I'm kind of rambling on here. But guys, I just I don't get the hate for the game. Yeah, it might be your cup of tea, your cup of tea, but I mean it. It certainly looks to be fairly good. So uh, that's just my two cents on the matter. Hopefully you enjoyed the the video and enjoyed my take on it. I'll be playing it tomorrow once I get my hands on it. So uh, anyway, let me know in the comments if you think the game looks good, if you don't think it looks good, if you're going to play it, if you're not going to play it, and uh, everything else. Battlefield Hardline related and I shall hopefully see you on the battlefield tomorrow. Have a great day guys.